Hello friends, thanks for joining in. Today I'll be covering eight methods used to search JavaScript arrays. But first I'd like to thank some new subscribers. So thanks to Austin, Riza, Romain, Ivan, Carlos, Nanda, Juan, Chesnit, Ali, Felipe, Voldemir, Mandla, Miros, Gilbert, and also Sundhindra. It's your support that keeps a small channel like this going. I really appreciate it. Uh, so thanks to each and every one of you. So before we can start searching, I'd like to introduce you to a new word, predicate. A predicate is just a fancy way of saying a function that takes an item and returns a boolean based on whether or not the item passes some condition. An example of a predicate would be an isEven function uh, that takes a number, checks to see if that number is evenly divisible by two, and will return true or false. So I can check to see if three is even or four is even. And you can see here that uh, when given three, it's going to return false, and when given four, it'll return true. Another example would be is less than zero, which will also take a number and just check if the number is less than zero. And I'll be using these two predicates, is, is even and is less than zero, to demonstrate the many different array search methods. So the first method I'd like to look at is filter. Filter takes a predicate, in this case I'm going to pass it is even, and it's going to return an array of all items that match the predicate. I can demonstrate what happens if no items match the predicate, it just returns an empty array. You would use filter when you want to return back multiple results. The next method is find, which also takes a predicate. In this case, find will return the first element found. If nothing is found, it will return undefined. And find index works the same way find does, except instead of returning the item, it will return the index of the item. In this case, two is at index one. And if no items are found, it will return negative one. Find index works similar to index of. The difference is index of doesn't take a predicate. It actually takes an item. So in this case, I'm gonna pass in two, which it's gonna return the index of two, which is one. And I'm going to pass in 9, which is not found, so it will return negative 1. And if I wanted to search the array in reverse, I would use last index of. In this case, they return the same indexes, 1 and negative 1, because 2 only appears in one location. But if I had another 2 up here, you can see that they would return different results. The index of would return the index of the first 2, while the last index of is returning the index of the last 2. If we don't care about the index, we can just use includes. And that'll tell us a true or false whether the item does or does not exist in the array. We can also use every, which does take a predicate. This will return true if every item matches the predicate. Otherwise, it'll return false. So let's change is even to greater than zero, just so that we can see it true. Similar to every, we also have sum. This is going to tell us if one or more items match the predicate. If it does, it will return true, otherwise it'll return false. It's also worth mentioning that the predicate passed in accepts more than uh, just the item. It also includes the index as well as the source array being passed in. So this gives you access to the item, the index, and the array just in case you need that additional info. So I'd like to thank you for making it to the end of the video and spending your time with me. I really do appreciate it. And as a reminder, when subscribing to the channel, be sure to click the bell and select all, otherwise you may miss videos. Once again, thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.